Hi everybody, this is Annie. I'm a witness for Jesus Christ and I am also, I am a prayer warrior, praise God. So, um, I just, you know, wanna tell you that today, okay, so today, because I don't know when you're gonna see this video. It is Sunday night, um, October 10th, at almost eight o'clock here in Texas. And um, I am tired, it's been a very long week. Praise God. I am drinking my matcha tea with cayenne pepper, lemon, and a cinnamon stick. And it is delicious. If you get a chance, look up what matcha tea does. I don't feel like getting into it tonight, but I'm enjoying it. It is my dinner, it is my lunch, and it is my breakfast because <laughs> I got up early this morning to go to church. I want to drink it while we talk because... It's still really hot, and I love drinking it while it's warm. It feels good on my stomach, and um, it's good for the soul. But anyway, um, I had church this morning, and um, as at, if you know, you know, and if you don't know, I go to Lifestyle Christianity University. I am a year two student this year, and this year you can tell that um, with the year two, it's basically a three-year program. They have a, first, a year one, a year two, and then the third year is an internship if, in fact, you are highlighted to be an intern. So the second year... It was really, really important that you show up every day, you get all your homework done, you go on outreaches, you reach out, and you basically, because it's called Lifestyle Christianity University, you live your life as a Christian, as a Christ-like believer, little Christ-like people. That's what Christian means, to be the light of the world. And so one of the things that they've added besides, um, you know, uh, the outreach and getting great speakers is um, they've added uh, volunteer hours. And so I have, uh, you have to go through their what they call the DNA classes if you pe feel that you are being led to be part of Risen Nation Church, which I did make a video on that you can look that up or you volunteer at the school, um, or you volunteer uh, and or outside the school someplace else. And so this year, I, by the grace of God, I reached out. If you get a chance, look up City Quake. City Quake is Tom Rotolio's ministry. He and his wife Heidi, I should say. And he goes out to churches all around. I know he's going to be going back to Brazil here soon. But he goes everywhere and he speaks to the church and the pastors about equipping the people to get out there and not feel that when you share your faith with people that you can that you live out of the fact that you pray for the sick, cast out demons and devils, get baptized with the Holy Spirit, and um, you give a word of knowledge and it's about walking this out. And so... We also have Power and Love Conferences, which is what Todd is having next weekend, next, fr ah, next Friday and Saturday. And so um, if you live in the Fort Worth, Dallas area, the church is in Watauga, Texas. If you pray about it and the Lord is ministering to your heart about sharing your faith, People need to hear the gospel. People need to hear the love of Jesus. We've got to show people love. And so um, uh, by doing that um, and you want to get equipped, Power and Love would be a great conference to go to or look up City Quake, look, at, look them both up. But anyway, um, I'm doing a lot of volunteering right now. It seems like I do more volunteering than I actually work at Supercuts. And I'm trying to do both because it's just just doing a lot right now. So I'm, I'm tired tonight, but I thought I would at least hop on to let you know that I haven't stopped wanting to make videos. I know I want to get better at it. I am not real computer savvy. I really... Uh, pray that God will put somebody in my life to help me edit 
help me be more creative when it comes to making these videos too. So of course, you know, I have five children and they're all pretty creative and pretty computer savvy, but you know, they don't really want to take the time to show their mom exactly how to do things. So um, I'm praying that the Lord will help me with this. I've been making these videos now since 2017 and I'm grateful for the people that get a chance to see these videos, subscribe to them, pass them on to friends and family, and I get a chance to pray for you. So bless you all. Um, I am taking the creative media class at Lifestyle Christianity. Over the summer, there there's electives that you can take at our school, and those elective classes are for about six weeks, uh, six short weeks of uh, one day a week, but learning a little bit about whatever it is that the class that you decide to take. And so in the summer, uh, when I started the journey of disciplining my body and getting my weight down, um, I spent a lot of time listening to Upper Room. If you listen to Upper Room, they're located in Dallas. I love listening to them because they uh, go live stream on uh, every day and they are it, this upper room that's all they do is praise and worship and pray I love it but um, because of that the Lord put in my heart to join the worship elective at Lifestyle Christianity. So I'm like, okay, great. And so if you join the worship elective, you have to pay an extra like $350 and um, you don't take other elective classes. You're in that class the entire year. So I'm not the best singer. I love to worship Jesus. And when I worship him, it breaks down strongholds. Um, it keeps my heart in check. It gives me a grateful heart. When you worship Jesus, you have a more of a thanksgiving heart. You, you, uh, you keep him at the center of your heart. You, you keep him at the center of your life. And the more you worship him, the more you can actually break into to more of a realm in, of being closer to him. And so I thought it would be a great opportunity to uh, come together with people that love to worship Jesus like I do. But a lot of people that are in this worship elective, they actually know how to play an instrument. They're actually probably have been part of their uh, worship class or uh, worship, um, uh, part of the worship team at their churches before they came to Lifestyle Christianity. So, I said to the Lord, you know, if you put, if you give me the money to take the class, I'm going to sign up for it, and I pray that I'll get a, I'll get selected. And so I signed up for the class. The Lord blessed me with the money. I paid for it, and uh, at orientation that week, which was on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, um, I was like, wow, I'm so excited. They didn't get back to me. I'm um, sorry, my dog. Anyway, in order to try out for the elective class, though, you had to sing a couple songs. And I was so grateful. One of the songs was from Upper Room, and another one was from another worship uh, team that's out there. And I can't think of who it is. But um, it wasn't a matter. We didn't have to sing the whole song. She just wanted to know where our heart was. We didn't even have to have the best voice. I was really excited. Um... But um, the week of orientation, I thought they must have selected me. I didn't hear from them, and I was really excited. But all of a sudden, Friday evening comes around, um, and I get an email stating that uh, they didn't feel that I was the right fit. And so, needless to say, um, it took me, uh, I'm going to say, it, it took me, a few a couple weeks up until probably this week that uh it's been a hard thing for it must be my pride that was trying to get in the way but you know i was really looking forward to being around like-minded believers that really truly love to worship the lord just like if you start your relationship with jesus 
If you start a relationship with Jesus, it's good to hang out with people that love Jesus more than you because it helps your walk and it helps your roots grow deeper in his love. Um, but unfortunately, um, I was one, probably one of the very few, I, I, <laughs> I am, I think, as I've expressed to the Lord, that did not get selected. And um, uh, so I didn't really necessarily know what electives I should pro I, I would have been able to take. And so I ended up taking this creative media class in hopes it might help me with making these YouTube videos. So we'll see what happens. Um, I, uh, you know... I still get to worship the Lord at home. I still worship him when I'm in when I get to school in the morning with everybody else. But um, it would have just been nice to have taken the class for the entire year because this year I really want to uh, sow more time um, uh, of being a part of this uh, school, the ministry, and growing closer to Jesus. And um, you know, you. Last year, it wasn't so much about doing that because I was just going through so so much transition still of just moving out here, trying to get used to the area, trying to get used to work, trying to get my daughter in school, just, just my sons moved out here, just a lot that was going on then. But this year, I didn't even go back to Iowa at all. I have spent this entire time here in Texas to... Um, to continue to make Texas my home and to grow in um, in my love for Jesus. And so sometimes you just got to stay planted where he has you in order to do that. So anyway, um, so I wanted to tell you something real fast too. Uh, Eric Gilmore, I don't know if you if you know him, but look him up. He's on YouTube. He, he is all about worshiping Jesus praying without ceasing. He knows, uh, eight, he's read tons of books, uh, like A.W. Towser. Uh, he quotes a lot from him. He quotes a lot from, um, Andrew Murray, uh, a bunch of, a, a bunch of, uh, pastors from the past, but he's just so full of wisdom. He's a very bright guy because his vocabulary is very large. And, um, I think you would enjoy some of his videos. So look him up. But he came and spoke to our class um, for two days. And his, the way, even when Eric comes out, he's not a real tall guy, very, very nice, um, you know, just a great, humble, very, very humble. Teaches a lot about having the spirit of humility. And gives a ton of... Uh, quotes and knows a lot about people that have been martyred for the for the sake of the gospel and and walking uh the the their your salvation out um knowing jesus not just getting caught up in striving and not getting caught up uh, with works but actually when you know him and he gave examples of of being able to be somewhere and talking with people, but inside, he's so in tune with the Holy Spirit. So it's about truly being led by the Spirit, by the fruit of the Spirit, and not in our flesh, not in our minds. And so it was just really, really good. Um, but he gave an example. I'm going to follow up with this now. Uh, he gave an example about uh, a, a, a guy and this old man. And um, uh, this the guy was the pastor at this church. I don't know if you know the story or not. But it, and I may not say it correctly, but Eric gave the story, and then uh, Pastor William Hen he followed up and gave it one day too uh, to us students. So I thought I'd share it with you. But he said... Um, that, uh, okay, so this, this guy, he was a pastor at a church and this old guy was at the church and the, the older, the, the younger pastor went up there and preached, uh, Psalm 23. And so he read Psalm 23 with all this enthusiasm, 
all this, you know, being like just overly exerted just by sharing Psalm 23 with everybody. And everybody was just hallelujah, praise God at the very end. And everybody clapped. And then he goes, sits down, and then he tells the older guy, you know, you can go up there now. And so the older guy goes up there, and he opens up the Bible, and he begins to read Psalm 23. And as he read it, he had so much emotion behind it that everybody in the congregation was bawling, was crying. And when he went back, when he finished and he went back and he sat down, the young guy looked at him, the young pastor, and said, how did you do that? And he looked at the young pastor and he said, you know the psalm, I know the shepherd. So it's like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, wow. So you can either read the word of God to know the word and to be able to use the word, but to use the word by knowing who the creator is, who the God of gods and king of kings and Lord of lords, the God who made you, the God that knows you better than anybody else, including yourself, the God that sent you the Holy Spirit mm, to lead us into all truth, to learn about loving, I mean, there, there's a difference. So I hope that encourages you tonight. And I thought I would read, which the Lord has had me in for whatever reason for a bit. Um, where is it, Lord? <laughs> I thought I would read Psalm 23. I may not, I may not cry, and I, you may not cry, but the only way we can grow in the love of Jesus and become more like Him and less of ourselves is by meditating on the Word, getting the Word into our hearts. Such good tea. Psalm twenty-three. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Mm. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. And he leads me beside peaceful streams. Mm. I can just visualize it. He renews my strength. Praise God and guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. I'm consciously aware of him. Even when I walk through the dark valley of death, I will not be afraid. For you, Holy Spirit, you, you're close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. Mm. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You welcome me as a guest, anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessing. Surely your goodness, surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. That was Psalm 23 out of the New Living Translation. And I'm telling you when, you, when you meditate on Psalms and you allow the Psalms to pray for you and you allow the Psalms, you take your time. You don't just read it, but you meditate on it. You have it marinating you. 
you can't help but know Jesus is our Lord. Jesus is our shepherd. Jesus is everything we need. Every good thing is in him. Our joy, our peace, our love, our patience. When you get into the presence of the Lord, everything else that has been trying to come against you, worrying, sickness, whatever, it flees. Praise God. Anyway, I love you. Jesus Christ loves us even more. I'm so grateful right now. I am just going to sit here and meditate on Psalm 23 and have my matcha tea and pray for every one of you. I love you all. Jesus Christ is Lord and our souls are well. Bye now.